Once again, I've returned to the wildfire site in Snenton, but this time to look at some plants that are growing here that are a little unusual for this time of year. Now, these are, I think, sun spurges, though it's a little bit, little hard to tell. And they're a bit unusual for sun spurge. First of all, they're flowering two months early. Normally, they'd be flowering in April. And not only that, if you look closely at the inflorescences, um, the, uh, the bracts subtending the inflorescences are red. And the latex books don't describe this. I know these are sun spurges because the fruits are smooth and green. If it was broadleaf spurge, they'd be <coughs> the uh, fruits would be rough and uh, a little red these are green so i know that it's sun spurge however if you look at the stems you can see they're red like the bracts that are subtending the flowers and in fact this is evidence that these plants are over in overwintering plants as a result of a mild winter and you might say well it's not been mild this winter but these spurges do seem to think so and um they look quite attractive at this time of year. They're coming into flower, the tops of the plants are green and the flowers are really small. I'll try and focus up on, on some of them here. Hopefully you can see that and see they're blown in the wind so I'll have to hold, it, hold them. Hopefully you can see the flowers and that the bracts are red subtending the flowers anyway this is sun spurge flowering early on this uh, wildfire site i don't think there's been a, a fire here so i think these spurges have survived uh, without being burnt i think if they'd been burnt they wouldn't be at this stage of flowering and you can see the red there uh, indicating uh, stress over winter and the flowers there looking really well developed with the red bracts subtending the flowers. Okay, that's Sun Spurge in Snenton, flowering two months early. Hope you found this interesting. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.